It's a decent fish. Uh, Jared Lettner, and, and today we're out here on Lake Nacimento here in Central California, and we're in late winter. And uh, it's one of my favorite times of year to, to, uh, to fish, especially structure. Um, this lake here is, uh, used to have all largemouth and smallmouth, and over the past several years it's kind of gotten taken over by the spotted bass. And um, basically what we're going to try to do today is fish, you know, the main river channel that has high spots, rock piles, creek channel, you know, bends, where, you know, the main river meets a section of bank and it has a rise or it has stumps or rocks, anything different to hold bait, which is what these spotted bass like. You know, later on in the day, um, we'll try to target some largemouth, which, which is generally how you win tournaments, you know, this time of year. Um, the spotted bass tend to all be kind of grouped up in sizes and getting on three to four pound average spotted bass, especially here in California, is very difficult. So a lot of times you'll catch a nice limit of spots, but you need that kicker largemouth. So there's some different techniques that we'll apply and hopefully we'll catch some fish today. Okay, well, this first spot I chose to fish here, um, I used my hummingbird, you know, and I graft around and basically what we have here is behind us is a, a major creek channel that comes out and it has a really deep cut on it and there's a long extended point way out here that comes off this flat to my right and basically it has giant baseball rocks on it and a few stumps and basically there's just a ton of bait here that i that i've seen on my graph and um, there's some nice arcs here so i'm, I'm going to start throwing this jig a little bit see if we can catch some active fish and then uh, maybe go on from there but we should be able to get a few bites here well fishing a jig out here and and you know, this time of year, I love fishing fluorocarbon. It's really, you know, you could detect those subtle bites. Um, I'm throwing 15 pound, 100% trilene here. And, um, you know, when, when I'm throwing a jig, this is a 5 8 ounce jig, but I got them all the way up to one ounce, just kind of depending how deep I'm fishing and how active the fish are. But uh, sometimes I'll go up to even 20 pound fluorocarbon when I'm fishing like this. Uh, seven foot, medium heavy to a heavy rod is perfect. Um, you know, just a standard six, four to one gear ratio reel. And, uh, you know, basically it's, it, you kind of got to feel out the fish, see what they want to bite. You know, sometimes it's not a jig deal. Sometimes it's a, maybe a drop shot um, bite if the bait's suspended up and the fish are on the bait. Uh, you know, occasionally, sometimes I whack them on a spoon. I mean, it's just, it's a variety of different techniques. So you kind of got to let the fish tell you what to do. And, and a lot of times, especially on this lake, area is key. In other words, <clears throat> I might not catch them on a jig here, but maybe two miles down the lake, they're just killing it. So you kind of bounce around, but also apply some different techniques. The jig I just caught that fish on is, a, is kind of new to me. I just got them a little while ago. They've been out for a while. It's an Omega structure jig. And uh, this here is a 5 8 I put my own skirt on it, um, kind of a Texas craw color, just with a little chartreuse in it. it it's really effective for the spotted bass. A uh, little three inch chigger craw on it. and. Uh, you know, the, the thing that's really cool about this structure jig is it comes through whatever you're fishing, rocks, stumps, wood, uh, chunk rock, I mean, a variety of different things. Since I've been throwing these kind of jigs, I lose, a, I mean, hardly any jigs at all. And this Gamagatsu hook that's in there, once you stick them, they're done. I mean, you, you never lose fish on this jig. Um, I'm throwing this, as I mentioned before, on a 15 pound, 100% trilene fluorocarbon. And this is actually a prototype rod that Tackle Warehouse is going to have the exclusive on. It's a 754 football jig rod that I helped design. And it's got a real fast tip. Um, it allows you to, you know, to get a solid hook set. But at the same time, it, um, you know, it's, it's long enough and it's powerful enough to catch them out of, you know, 30 to 60 feet even. Um, I throw jigs up to one ounce on this rod, no problem at all. I designed it with a little bit longer handle than normal on the other Palamax casting rods, just because when you're dragging in the winter time, a lot of times you know you, you want to tuck that rod butt next to your next to your side of you, down down your arm, so you can get a really good feel on it, and then you just kind of do a sweep hook set, you know, if, if it requires that. So it's just been a really great rod, and and you know, with this jig is is dynamite. The other jig, you know, the, the 7 8 ounce Omega jig, structure jig, I've been 
killing them here in California on this. Fishing them really deep, really slow. Uh, fishing this on 17 pound fluorocarbon. And uh, the, the cool thing with this is I was throwing pork on this. I like to put a little, you know, just an inch and a half uh, piece of plastic on there and what that does is it allows the pork to stay up. In other words it doesn't get wrapped around and, and come back and you stick the pork instead of the fish. So that little tip right there will get you more more fish in the boats especially when you're throwing pork. So we're going to move on to the next spot and, and see if we can't catch some more. This is a fish on a drop shot. I've seen one isolated fish so far. I think it's probably this fish. <laughs> 